Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions. Uh, I'll be watching episode 13 of Demon Slayer today. So, last episode we saw um, a bit of Zenitsu's power. Uh, it was quite interesting. I mean, it it seemed uh, like he, he just like fell asleep uh, out of nowhere. I, I don't know what triggered it. Uh, maybe after he eats a certain uh, amount of fear or something. Um, and it just like snapped and went to sleep. And during that, it just had those crazy powers. And he apparently is like a, a thunder user. And Tanjiro is a water user. So they should be quite powerful together. Like imagine if they use both skills together. That would be pretty insane. Water and electricity together. Um, so that was a, a really cool power. And apparently you can only use that or... Maybe it's, uh, right now, he can only use that while he's asleep. Uh, and after he, he wakes up, he doesn't remember anything uh, that happened. He doesn't even realize that he was fighting. So I wonder if that's going to be a thing or if it's going to change eventually. Uh, anyway, we, we have this other guy with the boar head. I still don't, don't know his name. Uh, but he is apparently really strong. And I really want to learn more about him and how he's going to... like. Um, like uh, interact with, with Tanjiro and the others. I, I mean, uh, from the opening, we can see a bit that they're probably going to stick together, but I don't know why or how. Anyway, uh, there's this fight happening with Tanjiro and the other demon, and it's not really looking too good to Tanjiro. Uh, he's like badly hurt, and he can't really move well. So I wonder what kind of skill he, he like realized that he can use to help him with that situation. Uh, it's going to be one of those water techniques, but I don't know exactly what he's going to do. So I am really curious to, to see it. So I hope you guys are ready and let's start the episode. Yeah, those drums. These songs really give the vibes. Holy shit. So yeah, really curious to see what kind of skill he's going to use. They were talking about like uh, the different shapes that he can make. And he used quite a... Like uh, some techniques already of those water skills. Um, but yeah, he, he probably has like uh, a lot more. We know that there are like 10 or something. Uh, I don't remember how many he used, but probably like five different ones. So we still have new ones to discover. Also, the design of the characters are really cool. At first, I wasn't really like... Um... I don't know, I didn't know, knew what to expect from this anime. But now that I started it, I, I'm actually enjoying it quite a lot. His opening is awesome. And I hope we get to see more Nezuko today. Something more important than life. This guy. That's a high possibility. It's like a maze, so... Who's in there? I'm 
no one. Oh, isn't that the entrance to the to, to the other room? Not sure though. Oh, it flipped. Holy shit! Oh, they out. They got outside, right? This guy doesn't even need to move, he just needs to... ...strum those things. I need to do something pretty fast. That skill is so annoying. Yep, you need to do something. Shit. Yeah, your skill is annoying. That's... <laughs> yep. That's really annoying. Your guy? Hmm. Lower moon six. So he was number six. Um, he's messing the whole place. Is remember remembering is human past? Uh, that's really harsh. Uh, that's why he uses those. It's probably going, it's probably getting really pissed. That's what made him snap. It's these stories that make this enemy really incredible. Yep. Shit. What is that going to do? Yep. Just spinning like shit. It can't even touch the ground. It keeps spinning. Five claws. The text, yeah. Oh, we dodged the pages.
Yeah. Hmm. His music, though. Holy shit. Is that the new technique? Ninth form. Yep. That's pretty cool. The threat. Holy shit. That, this is so epic. He never looks down on demons. Because he understands them. Even if he has to kill them. These moments are so powerful. I knew you were still going to talk. Yep. That's all he ever wanted, to be acknowledged. All right, you even if he All right, that helps. Like That's pretty cool. Yep. So he was number 6 of the 12, that's what I'm guessing. But I don't know if there's still another number six because he was like excluded. Oh, like a messenger. That guy looks pretty. Holy shit, all right then. <laughs> all right. Apparently. That's really cool. Yeah, now that that whole place is not like spinning like shit, so... Oh, this guy still... All these demons have such uh, sad stories. And then he steps on the pages, but Tanjiro didn't. Yeah. It was really nice how he, he never tried to trample on them. Yep. Man, all of these stories. They, they were pretty awesome. I mean, that skill, holy shit. Exactly. It just wanted to be recognized. I mean, it's like it's not like these demons want to... to be demons. I mean, did... They were humans. There might be some bad demons. I'm not... Not excluding that, but yeah.
Ey, sorry, wie du hast Dämon. Oh, ja. Yeah. What about the other two? They should be outside with... That's the thing, ne Nezuko has been alone all this time. I hope nothing happened with her. Oh no. Oh, it should be the other guy, like. Where is the the one with the boar head? Should be outside as well. Of course. He just wants to fight. <laughs> Oh, that was so nice. Damn, so that, that's what it was. Yeah. Hmm. Was that guy trying to attack Nesco or? Oh. He's badly hurt. Really? Oh, that guy. Coming through. Oh, so it was the other one. I, I remember this part, I was confused because there were four there and they mentioned five. So this was the fifth one. And they really tried to attack Nesco. So he really is a demon slayer. I wonder I wonder what what will happen after he sees Nesco. I'm really surprised he's being this brave. Well not asleep at least. It's not the bad one though.
Tanjiro can sm can like sense smell really really well. He can smell things really far away and with precision. And this guy ears a lot. Yep. At least this guy is really good. Is smart. Yep. Holy shit. <laughs> he grabbed his leg. <laughs> this is so nice from him. And this is where we are at. That's why he smelled blood. So what's going to happen now? Nesco can't be outside because it's daytime. And Tanger is going to get mad. That's going to make him get really attached to Zenitsu. He doesn't want to fight, just wants to protect that thing. Uh... He's gonna get pissed. He already is. Hmm. He really hates demons, that's for sure. Oof. Yep. He is mad. It's gonna end, right? Yep. I wonder if they're going to fight in the next episode, or if it's just going to be like a short, uh, like battle. But yeah, that, that, that was really nice from Zenitsu. Uh, I'm really starting to like that guy. Um, now, as I was saying, Tanjiro has a really good sense of smell. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly how to say that. I mean, his nose is really, like, I don't know. Accurate <laughs> and Zenitsu can hear like really well. Is he can hear things that most people can't. Uh, so I wonder if there's more type of skills like this, like maybe people who can see like a X-ray vision or something. I, I don't know, just like small ideas. But yeah, I I don't think that guy is bad. You can see that he, he probably has something, like, he really hates demons, that's for sure. And it's like he always wants to be fighting. But I don't think he's a bad guy. Nesco. 
That's really nice, yeah. Oh. Oh. Mystery Family Crest. It needs to heal up. I mean, he's all messed up, so he really needs to, to get healed uh, somehow. I, I don't know how he's going to get that, but he really needs help. Um, so, I don't know what's going to happen between Tanjiro and the other dude. Uh, but it was really nice to see Zenitsu protecting Nesco like, uh, uh, until the end and not allowing that guy to kill her. So, I... I just like Tanjiro, I really appreciate that. And, and I mean, that that's just going to make Tanjiro like that guy so much, just because of that action. And, like, it's, it's, it's basically what Tanjiro was saying before, like, Nesco is more important than his own life. He values Nesco's life so much, and he really wants to help her. So, he's going to do everything he, he can to save her. And and like turn her into a human again but i really wonder how this fight is going to go uh they're probably not going to defeat each other probably just like maybe it talks things out i don't know uh like he can't really show nesco uh, right now because it's daytime uh, so unless they go inside some house or something uh they can't really show that nesco is not like uh harmful she she's just a, a normal person who became a demon but she has full control over the powers um so yeah i just hope that that guy eventually realizes that and i hope he sticks around with, with these with these ones i wonder if uh, like we see tanjiro zenitsu and this other guy now uh and they apparently were five the ones that uh, passed the final selection exam so i wonder if uh Probably not the five of them, but, but, but maybe four. Uh, we still have yet to see more of the other girl who passed the exam as well. And then there's the other guy who... He, I don't know exactly what his, his purpose is. Uh, but he was like really like anxious and really mad uh, and angry like at, at that final exam at, at the end of it. And I don't know if he's going to be a bad guy or not, but I don't think he's going to tag along with his with his three. Uh, the thing I'm questioning is if the girl it will eventually join them, and there will be four eventually. And I don't know. That would be that would be nice to see all of them four together, uh, fighting for the same goal. Uh, but yeah, it it was a really nice a really nice episode. We saw Tanjiro defeating that demon and. As always, it was not like a a good moment. Uh, it, it's never like good to see. And I don't know exactly how to say this. I'm not saying it wasn't a good fight. I'm just saying that it's never good to see those moments, like when a demon dies and uh, they remember their past life and what actually uh, goes into their minds and. Like, we just saw that that guy was just, like, uh, being, like, diminished, like, a lot by the other guy. And he was just, like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but he, he was writing that, that uh, novel, uh, that biographical something, I don't know. Uh, but he was writing that, uh, and the other guy was just, like, just making him feel really bad about what he did. And... That was really not pleasing to say. And then we see Tanjiro uh, like not stepping on those papers, basically implying that he doesn't want to step on his work, that he values it. And th that was a really nice touch. And then we, we of course see that he valued his uh, demon, uh, demon art skills. Um, and that was really nice because like this demon... Uh, like when he was uh, a human or and even now he only wanted to be recognized 
So it's it, it's always probably not good is not the word, but it, it's always sad to see these moments happening, and it really makes you empathize with some of these demons. I like I, I'm sure some demons are going to be pure bad, probably, uh, maybe not. Like we, we don't know, but but still, I'm I'm really curious to to see how how this is going to go from now on. Like this this part just ended they they solved things out in, in that mansion and now they're probably going to go somewhere else uh so yeah i'm really curious to see what's what's going to happen and i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode and if you did please like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode so see ya